This morning at Arlington National Cemetery at the 11th hour of the 11th day, a wreath will be laid at the Tomb of the Unknowns. The annual ceremony honors the selfless sacrifice of those who put our nation first. Military service can be challenging, both for service people and their families. Special Forces soldiers have some of the highest divorce rates in the military, along with some of the highest injury and suicide rates, and that can impact their loved ones as well. Senior investigative correspondent Catherine Harridge talked to one family almost broken by war and shows us the charity that was there to help them. The emotions were real. Yeah. 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 It was, like I said, as close to love it as at first, first sight. sight. A year after Brant and Tanya Ireland met in 2002, he pursued his other passion to serve, joining Army Special Forces. I'll never forget the night he kind of sprung it on me that he was going to join the military. And you thought, what? Why? I had no idea really what like a Green Beret meant. As Tanya, a pediatric trauma nurse, cared for their two young daughters, Brant Ireland deployed overseas more than a half dozen times, tracking terrorist operatives. Where have you been? Afghanistan. Kind of home away from home. And he's a little humble. He, he actually deployed one time after his injury, mm -hmm. which still just fascinates me that he had that grit to be able to go back over. That injury occurred in 2013, while Brandt went over a steep drop-off during an overnight raid into northeastern Afghanistan. We were pretty weighted down with with gear. It was supposed to be a you know a couple day operation. A lot of ammunition. We estimated I was carrying about 150 pounds. I dislocated my my leg, and I knew that like I felt it mm -hmm. uh, fall underneath me, but had no idea had how badly I had broken it. It literally felt like my leg was going to like explode from the inside. Tanya witnessed the severity of his injury, followed by 20 surgeries and hundreds of hours of rehab. Frustration and bitterness sat in with me because I saw somebody that I love uh, starting to fail. I, I just, I think mentally, spiritually, and then that kind of infiltrated us as a couple. It just became more and more apparent that in order to get back to where I wanted to be and where I wanted us to be as a family, that, that, that amputation was, I mean, it became a no-brainer. Brant had surgery to amputate his leg in June of 2015. But as he healed, it seemed like his marriage never would. At that point, where were you as a couple? Um, I loved him. I mean, I vowed to love him, but... I can't say I really liked him that much at that time. I mean, it was, it was tough. We were definitely in, in, in the same house and sometimes the same bed, but living two entirely different okay. existence or, or lives, basically. Where did Operation Healing Forces come in? At the right time, by the grace of God. Yeah, now that one will make me tear up. Mm -hmm. The Irelands are talking about Operation Healing Forces. All of our couples, all of our soldiers have two things in common. They're all special ops and they're all injured, mentally, physically, or both. The charity started by Gary Markell has sent more than 1,100 special operators and their partners on retreats designed to mend relationships damaged by the call of duty. With donors loaning their vacation homes from Aspen, Colorado to Naples, Florida, and the Caribbean. We have employed retreat leads. Most of them are retired rangers that have been through the same thing as the couples mm -hmm. and, the, and the soldiers, such as the Irelands, who uh, have become dear friends of ours, and I think we've helped them with their life as well, so it, it's just very rewarding for us. In 2016, the Irelands spent a week on Markel's yacht with four other couples in the British Virgin Islands. It refreshed us. It refreshed our souls. It refreshed our marriage. It connected us with other individuals, and that's something special, you, when you can just sit in a room quietly and not have to rehash everything and still have that sensation of, we, I know what you went through. A powerful communion in a community of service members who often put themselves last. It was an opportunity where we just really felt so, both of us felt so appreciated. Bolstered by that experience, Brant has continued to rebuild his life, regaining confidence through adaptive sports, winning more than two dozen gold medals in competitions like the Warrior Games and Prince Harry's Invictus Games. I remember having that competitive spirit and I remember that um, being a big part of who I was and that's the first first part of myself that I recognized in a long time. Well, soccer practice checklist. And now showing up for his family.
honestly, where we're at now is I kind of call him Mr. Mom. It's like we did a role reversal, and he runs with the girls and practices and travel ball, and it's pretty special. Tanya has also transitioned, now with a career in real estate. The couple is approaching their 20th wedding anniversary with a renewed commitment to each other and hoping their story can be an inspiration on this Veterans Day. We're just so proud to have been a part of a, just a small piece of history and we realize it's a really hard lifestyle, but it's probably one of the most rewarding. And just to be in that, that same community or group is just, just an honor. For CBS Saturday Morning, Katherine Herridge, Holly Springs, North Carolina. Oh. I love this so much because it's so important to show these military families that support through all chapters of their service. And it seems to be about more than just that one week away, but really about yeah. the community that's created. Yeah, it's so I'm um, glad. No, please. Yeah, no, I, I just, I'm, kudos to that and kudos to the fact that you can come out on the other end. Mm -hmm. The stress on them, the stress on their family, the stress on everyone. Mm -hmm. All right.